Salut boys and girls! On this episode of Peach Sheep, I want to show you a little purchase I've made to enhance my overlanding experience. What did I buy? Well, I bought myself a 12 volt fridge. Let's go and take a look. I want to show you some features. Now, I bought the Iceco JP50. It can also be used as a portable freezer. Now, if we open up the fridge, the fridge has a uh, an insulation bag included, which makes it a great value. Also, a, a box uh, full of connectors and accessories. We have a wire basket that has a uh, separation in the middle. In the fridge also is a bag with the owner's manual with the warranty and as well a AC power cord. The bottom is uh, made out of plastic and has uh, two uh, holes which seems to be to hold the larger uh, beverage bottles. The uh, sides of the fridge uh, is made out of aluminum. Now in the box is a quick reference guide. There's also uh, some extension cords, plugins. There is a 12 volt power cord, an extension for the 12 volt source, and as well a AC power cord. You'll also find accessories for the uh, handles, as well as the handles, which uh, you have to uh, install yourself. Now the owner's manual, you'll find a table of content, safety information, the handle installation instructions, details on the three GP series fridges, such as the GP50. You'll also find maintenance and cleaning instructions, troubleshooting, and at the end is the five year warranty information on the compressor and the one year uh, warranty on all other parts. To install the uh, handles, it's uh, pretty straightforward. Remove the tabs. The kit comes with T30 bolts and there's a hand tool. I use a drill adapter to speed up the process. Make sure that you have the proper hinges. I suggest that you start installing the hinges by hand, then using a drill to speed up the process but do not tight yet. At this point, it's just a matter of aligning everything up. Then tighten by hand, but do not over tight, and then install the covers, making it a nice clean job also giving you strong and reliable handles. Now on one end of the fridge, you'll find the power inputs. One is an AC 100 to 240 volts, compatible with 50 to 60 Hertz, depending on the region of the world you live. There is a 15 amp fuse to protect your fridge, and there is a 12 and 24 volt input. You will notice a medium, high and low setting to protect your power source, such as your vehicle battery. The inside of the lid has a list of foods and the required temperatures, as well as schematics and a list of specifications. Now installing the insulation bag is pretty straightforward. You have two zippers on each side and the bag covers everything and is well designed to protect your fridge. This bag will make the fridge more efficient and I suggest that you do use it depending on the application. Now the bag is made for this fridge. It gives you access to all the different features of the fridge as well as proper ventilation for the compressor. You will find pockets on the side to store accessories. Now, if we look at the display, there's the on off button. There is the, the settings button, which will toggle from max to echo mode, depending on how much power you want to draw or that is available. When uh, you press on the minus and plus button at the same time, you'll toggle from the Fahrenheit to the Celsius uh, settings. 
when pressing on the minus or plus you will decrease or increase the fridge temperature setting opening up the fridge you will notice a main area and a smaller area lit by a blue LED light the main area will be colder than the smaller area as the smaller area is mostly cooled down by the ambient air from the main area now this fridge is not a dual zone fridge but I found that if you put the fridge at around minus 8 minus 10 degrees on the main side then on the smaller portion of the fridge you will have a temperature that is around 4 degrees which is a perfect temperature for a fridge for the noise the fridge is rated at 45 decibels the JP50 will hold 75 cans which might be too much if you're a single traveler in this case the JP40 or even the JP30 could be a better match for you as you can see the JP50 has plenty of room for all types of foods you can store in the main area which is colder or if you wish to keep vegetables or other foods fresh you can as well store them on the smaller side just to test out the freezer we put the fridge at minus 18 and we add ice without any problems so there you go guys I hope you enjoyed this little review of the Iceco JP50 it is one model out of three in that series of fridge made by Iceco you have the JP30 JP40 and JP50 after all the research I've done and believe me I've done a lot of research I think uh, bang for your buck it's one of the best out there a five-year warranty Dan Foss Sika compressor plus an insulation bag Wow great value it has great reviews online you can buy that fridge on many websites such as Amazon Wayfair to name a few I'm not sponsored by these guys um, I bought it out of my own pocket but I believe this is a great value and I wanted to share this with you so I hope to see you out in the trails I wish you health love and prosperity take care mm -hmm.